Good morning to all my friends on the Doctor in You Health and Wellness Group. This is Marva. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our goals and what we're working on as a group. Um, we are working on Meatless Mondays. And what that means is every Monday we will avoid all forms of flesh. Uh, no eggs, nothing dairy, which you really should be trying to eliminate dairy from your diet completely because dairy is inflammatory. Um, that means cheese and milk, anything dairy. Um... So meatless Mondays, where you eat vegetables and fruits and nuts and healthy grains like quinoa and wild rice. We're also working on getting rid of anything that's flour and wheat based. And that includes bread, crackers and cookies. Now, I would say if you're really serious about losing weight, that you might want to consider taking the plunge and just totally eliminate bread, crackers, and cookies from your diet. Because these foods are very addictive and most times we can't have one slice or one cracker or one cookie. So my suggestion is to cut these cold turkey um, and uh, replace them with nuts, all forms of nuts, uh, macadamia nuts, almond nuts, walnuts. They say walnuts have that shape because it's good for our brain. It's brain food. Um, apples are wonderful fruits and uh, they're not too expensive. They keep you feeling full. They're very high fiber so you won't be constipated and you'll feel full longer. And the apples have low glycemic index and low calories so i suggest that you always have apples and some nuts with you all the time so you don't run the risk of eating junk um also we are working on our water intake my suggestion and these are not rules guys these are suggestions based on my book um Suggestion that we work on drinking at least 64 ounces of water per day. I used to do 64 ounces and I thought that was adequate. And then when Marie suggested that she or mentioned that she drinks one gallon of water, I thought that was impossible for me. I took the challenge and now I'm up to 110 ounces of water per day. And I'm really not running to the bathroom every minute. I start as soon as I wake up and throughout the day I'm drinking. I have this big uh, mason jar that holds 33 ounces and I fill it up four times. And my goal is to drink 120 milliliters of water. Since I started doing that, my, my, I'm, I got rid of foggy brain, which I didn't know what was causing that. And some muscle issues I was, muscle soreness I was having is gone and I have a lot more energy. And water suppresses the appetite, help us to feel full and energizes our body and we eat less when we increase our water intake. So that's the goal. It's, it's kind of cool now. So I suggest you warm your water and add some slices of lime or lemon to make it more palatable. Eat more veggies, all kinds of veggies. You don't have to stick to any one veggie. Green vegetables are great. The squashes are great. The squashes will fill you up and they have very little carbohydrate content um, for those of us that are watching or carb intake um, so that we can lose the weight or maintain the weight that we've lost. So eat more veggies. Eat more fruits, nuts, and healthy grains. So even though the grains are healthy, the wild rice and the quinoa, they do have a bit of cal calories. So 
moderation is the key. So if you're eating a plate of food, I would say 50% of that needs to be vegetables. Another thing is to have a green salad or raw salad every day. Every day, have a bowl of raw salad, put some seeds in it and some nuts. Stay away from the store-bought um, salad dressing. Make your own or just put apple cider vinegar on it because we have to change a taste bud, right? And um, to have raw salad every day and vegetables and nuts and beans and peas, all of that are great stuff. Exercise. 30 minutes, four days a week. That's another goal. At least four days. It could be more. Some of us are exercising every day. Um, some go to the gym. But you don't have to go to the gym. You can walk. That's the best exercise is walking. Okay? And uh, it will strengthen your body and uh, help you on your weight loss, on your healthy journey. Another thing is not to focus on the weight loss. Once you embrace a healthy lifestyle, healthy living, healthy eating, exercise, sleep, decreased stress level, lots of water, then you will see the weight loss will be a byproduct of that. Mindset is very important. You got to tell yourself every day that you can do this because you know what? You can, but it begins here. You got to tell yourself, I can do this. I want to be well. I want to get off um, medications if, I'm, if you're on medication or if you're not, stay that way. Uh, if you have a little bit of weight, I want to lose the weight. If you do not have excess weight, I want to remain that way. In essence, you want to be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. You got to tell yourself that every single day. So find an affirmation. I can do what. Ever I put my mind to find an affirmation and tell you talk to yourself every single day because you can you can do this um this week one of our focus is to eliminate processed meat processed meats my friends are linked to cancer and many other uh, health issues they're inflammatory they're loaded with sodium and preservatives that are carcinogenic. So we sh really should not be having hot dog, hamburgers, salami. Even if they call it organic and low sodium and all of that, there are additives in it that we should not be having. So we're working on eliminating and re or reducing um, processed meat. Um, and going to bed half an hour earlier. Now, some of us, have or sleep thing together. This is not necessarily for you. For those of you who have your sleep thing down, it's working for you, that's okay. But many of us don't. So I'm suggesting that you start uh, working on going to bed 30 minutes earlier um, so you can get adequate sleep. You'll feel better the next day and uh, your state of mind you won't be stressed out because you haven't gotten enough sleep. So those are some of the things that we're working on. Um, I commend you for getting on this journey. I know that the steps that I have, that I recommend each day work. It has worked for me for years. I also suggest that you get my book. Now, I, the, 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 the suggestions and the things that I'm recommending on in the group are from the book okay so i am suggesting this is my battered up copy i'm sorry <laughs> i'm suggesting okay that you get a copy of the book it's it's 9.99 on amazon and it's also available in electronic book format for 4.99 okay because the steps that i've laid out in the book they work. They work. And I think that, you know, you can invest $10 to learn what really works because yo-yo diets don't work. Um, 
quick fix don't work lifestyle work and i laid all out here okay in this book i'm a registered nurse i know what i'm talking about i live what i've written in this book i'm not talking about what i hear from others i've lived it lived it it's worked for me i have helped many other people to get on and stay in a healthy lifestyle like um healthy lifestyle and they also can testify to how, not me, but the steps laid out in this book have helped them to get healthy and stay healthy. So I encourage you to purchase the book. It's available on my website, um, rnmarvareilly.com. You can buy it directly from Amazon um, or any local bookstore. But I think it would behove you to get the book because then... It's a reference manual. You'll be able to go back to the book. Okay. So what you're not seeing on the uh, health group, you'll be able to reference uh, in the book. So this, what I'm saying to you now is not necessarily a book pitch, but I think you would really do better on this journey if you got the book and you used it alongside with, what you're learning in the group because things kind of get missed in the group too because a, a lot of us are posting which is wonderful <laughs> it's really good but this will be a great reference for you okay uh have a wonderful day god bless you i know you're going to succeed on this journey uh and uh if you ever feel like you know um you need a little more encouragement please be free to personal message me. All right, God bless you and be well.